Question 9. Find two numbers whose difference is 6 and whose product is a minimum. Right? So we are doing maximum minimum problems using completing the squares method. Remember, maximum minimum problems can be solved by partial factoring and also factoring. Okay, You can use any method. When specified, you have to use the specified method. So, the question here is, find two numbers whose difference is 6 and whose product is a minimum. So, let's define our variables. So, first statement should be let statement. Let the numbers be x and y, correct? And whose product and product be, let's say product be p okay let's define all our variables now the two numbers whose difference is 6 so let's say x minus y is equals to 6 now from here we can write one in terms of the other so we can write what y is equals to right or what x is equals to so let's write what y is equals to so we can write y equals to x minus 6 right so we'll take y on the other side we get x minus 6 as y now the product is product of x and y so we have product equals to x times y so we can write y in terms of the variable x correct so we get x times x minus 6 as the product of these two numbers so let's expand it and see the quadratic equation in standard form x square minus 6x in completing the squares we normally factor out the coefficient of leading coefficient that is factor out coefficient of x square here it is already 1 so no need to do that step so the second step is to do half of this number and add and subtract its square right so we will do that so we get x square minus 6x and what is half of 6 half of 6 is 3 so we'll add and subtract 3 square so that will make a perfect square right let's see how so this could be written as product equals to x square minus 6x plus 3 square minus 9 now if you see these three first three terms they form a perfect square and they can be written as x minus 3 whole square correct minus 9 now that gives us the value of x for which we'll have a minimum product right so why minimum in this case if you see is a parabola with a vertex at 3 and minus 9 and is opening upwards so you can draw and sketch like this correct so that point of the parabola is basically the vertex and the vertex is 3 and minus 9 so at x equals to 3 at x equals to 3 we have minimum product p equals to minus 9 do you see that so that is what we have x if x is 3 then what is the value of y so y equals to x minus 6 that means 3 minus 6 which is minus 3 do you see so find two numbers whose difference is 6 and whose product is a minimum and therefore the two numbers are minus 3 and plus 3 do you see that and their minimum product is minus 9 right which is they have not asked for they have only asked for the two numbers therefore this answer is good enough the two numbers are minus 3 and plus 3 I hope you understand the process and also understand why we have a minimum we have a minimum because this quadratic equation opens upwards and minimum is always at the turning point the vertex which is at 3 
and the value of minimum is minus 9 okay so that is how we will do it I can also show you how we could have got this answer using partial factoring or factoring right so we had the statement p equals to x square minus 6x let me rewrite this so p equals to x square minus 6x this can be factor right I can take x common so we get x minus 6 correct so these are the two factors and that gives us an idea that zeros are at 0 and at plus 6 so what I can do here is on the same graph I can extend and use this let us say these this is my coordinate axis right so as you can see now our zeros are at 0 and this point is plus 6 do you see that now if these are my two zeros from the symmetry of the graph on the axis of symmetry only will have the minimum right and the axis of symmetry will lie where right in the center do you see that center of 0 and 6 is 0 plus 6 divided by 2 so at x equals to 0 plus 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 we are going to have minimum and therefore we get the value of x as 3 do you see how efficient this method is extremely beautiful method right and in this case this is also partial factoring since we don't have a constant right so so that is an alternate method of finding the answer it's kind of important for me to teach my students the best possible method along with the method asked for okay thank you and i hope you appreciate this all the best